so dear friends today we will start with the rate equation of uh, third order reaction previously we discussed the first order reaction and the second order reaction we found the t1 half of first order reaction and the t1 of second order reaction that is uh, half life period of first order reaction and the half life period of second order reaction yesterday uh, in previous lecture we also derived the first order reaction and the second order reaction now we will derive the third order reaction for a simple elementary reaction and which is having same concentration therefore for derivation of third order reaction we have a three a reactant gives the product okay this is elementary reaction and simple reaction that's why three its molecularity is three and also its uh, order becomes three for the elementary for complex reaction and the uh, its uh, molecularity is not matches with the its order therefore at the start its concentration was a and concentration of product was at the time is equal to zero at the starting no product form only reactor is there as time passes at a particular time we found that the x product is formed x product is formed the the reactor remaining is a minus this. therefore we can write first the what is the rate of reaction rate of reaction we uh, discussed rate of reaction is the change in concentration of reactor with time reactor concentration with time goes to decreasing therefore as like previously minus is sign for reactor concentration goes on decreasing that's why change in concentration of a concentration we always written in a bracket and change for the small change that is the derivative of a is the, that is the small change with respect to time for suppose for 2 second how much reactant is re is reacting that is the for small time limit how much reactant is reacted we given like that derivative of a with respect to t or change in a with respect to t is given like that. okay the rate of disappearance of reactant is also the rate of reaction therefore it is also it is given as we we know that the our rate law equation rate law equation we given as if suppose minus change in concentration of a with respect to time is equal to k3 and if order is third uh, third and only single reactant is there or three reactant is there and its concentration is the same okay for we we have chosen the simple reaction 3 its derivation is simple and for your syllabus also there is a uh, like that the derivation is there. therefore we use this therefore if it is a third order reaction that's why we will write here as a 3 therefore here is also our concentration is we written as a is to 3 3 is its order then as like we derive the equation the same integrated formula we will use as like the second order reaction 
therefore this is the this change of reactor is a for small quantity small with small time how much reactor is react but we want at a certain time t not uh, one two three four second we want this at a certain time t after five minute after ten, ten minute how much reactor is reacted we can calculate it by the integrating this derivative small changes by summation or by integrating we will get the total change that's why we integrated minus and outside bracket for this integration same term uh, we will carry at same side therefore a will be at this side we have to move a to left hand side because a and a are the same term a and t are not same term that, that's why we move to this side for performing the integration and k3 is the constant for constant we cannot integrate it okay therefore for this we will write the equation like that change in concentration and a raised to 3 integrated minus sign is equal to k3 into delta t k is the uh, integrated dt k3 is the constant and this quantity is not constant as the time passes therefore integrated also time therefore in previously we said that uh, for the second order reaction we given the equation for 1 upon x raised to n is equal to dx the equation was it is converted like that x n raised to minus n into dx is equal to x minus n plus 1 upon minus n plus 1 this way we calculated the this term we perform the integrate integration on this term therefore there is you obtain by using this formula your conversion is like that a raised to minus 3 into dA in this equation you will obtain a raised to minus 3 plus 1 upon minus 3 plus 1 okay we just use the equation then you will obtain the raised to minus 2 okay because minus 3 plus 1 that is a used like that and minus 2 then you will obtain the next equation minus a raised to minus 2 upon minus 2 is equal to integration of dx is equal to x in this case for this x is replaced by t therefore x is also t your answer will be t integration of dt is equal to t if therefore k3 into t we saw like second order reaction we also solve this same same rules for integration we used for the second order reaction then negative negative will be positive therefore this term we will take outside the bracket then this will convert it like that because minus 2 we at uh, when at the this side and I came at the uh, denominator then a it will convert into the a raised to square and when we go to the upside a raised to minus 2 okay that conversion you remember therefore k3 into t okay that side is not changed 
remember that our uh, limit is a first the concentration was a and the final of the concentration was of product a minus x okay this is written here a a minus x a a minus x similarly for this also we written as a 0 to t but at the last t minus 0 will be the t that's why we not return uh, this directly we use the k3 t one half for you put the limit for this limit for this means firstly you have to put instead of a that is the uh, final reading therefore for this a minus ax we written at square therefore upper limit minus lower limit always for forming like that case minus lower limit lower limit was the a therefore a square is equal to k3 t okay we directly write t minus 0 okay therefore simple cross multiplication by doing this we will obtain one half a square minus a minus x square upon okay simple multiplication a square that is multiplied to this a minus x square multiplied to this and a square into a square at the this side okay therefore a square into a minus x square that is simple formula x square is equal to k3 t okay isn't it then by performing expand this bracket one half a square by expanding bracket a square minus 2x plus x square simple formula okay like that a minus b square is equal to a square plus minus 2ab plus b square that simple formula we used it upon we not expand this only a square a minus x raised to 2 is equal to k3 t okay then one half the minus sign is outside the bracket they it will change all the signs uh, positive negative negative positive and positive negative that's why one half a square minus a square plus 2ax plus minus x square because my plus will be changed the minus upon a square a minus x square is equal to k3 t okay then a, a square will be cancelled therefore your equation will be one half uh, 2x will be the common we remove x 2a minus x upon our a square a minus x raised to square is equal to k3t okay step by step we solve this a square minus 2 into ax plus x square therefore we remove this bracket a minus that is the a minus is there positive is converted and minus and directly we for this bracket we um, x will be common we remove from the outside therefore x 2a minus x as like that quantity you will obtain okay therefore next this is your uh, third order reaction for rate k3 will be given as one half 2t okay this will move towards this multiplied will be divided 2t x 2a minus x upon a square a minus x square this is the equation for the rate law.
then uh, what is the unit of k3 you will find the unit of k3 k3 is equal to 1 2 into a square into t and in bracket x 2a minus x a minus x square okay this is the concentration one concentration two concentration and square concentration okay this will cancel to each other one two concentration that is square concentration cancel the square concentration okay only one remaining one upon for the unit calculation okay for the unit of calculation we like that okay you are one upon two into concentration for a is the concentration square t is the time then in bracket concentration into concentration upon concentration square okay this will be the cancer therefore for this is a, a constant one upon mole per liter square second therefore unit will be this will move towards this side unit will be mole per mole square per liter square and per second is the unit for the third order reaction then we have to calculate half life period for third order reaction ok for half life period uh, we know that the um, how it is calculated ok this will be we will discuss in next lecture. Thank you very much.